So this question says the function f is defined by f of x equals x plus 1 squared minus 9. Um, before moving on, I recognize this to be the vertex form of a parabola equation. More generally, that form looks like this. I'll use f of x, although you could just use y, but I'll say f of x is equal to x minus h squared plus k, which means for us that our h value is negative 1 and our k value is negative 9. So our vertex, right, because h comma k is the vertex. That's why it's called vertex form. So our vertex is at negative 1, negative 9. So if I were to graph this, I'd have negative 1. I'd have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, negative 9. And I'd have a vertex there. This is positive out in front here, which means my parabola will go up. And again, at, after the vertex, I haven't, there isn't any quality control on how the parabola looks, but I know that it goes up from there. So what does the rest of this question say? It says, in the xy plane, the graph of which of the following equations has no x-intercepts? Okay, well, as of right now, this parabola does have x-intercepts, right? Because it faces upward and it has a vertex way down here at negative 1, negative 9. So if, so what is choice A saying that I do? Choice A is saying that I would shift the vertex to the right two units. That's what this minus two inside of here does. It actually shifts the vertex to the right two units. So by shifting this to the right over here, I would still have x-intercepts, right? Because it still faces up. So that's, that's no good. Choice B says I shift to the left two units. Again, same deal. I'd be over here, but still the same parabola going upward. So it's still going to have x-intercepts. Choice C says that I shifted down 11 units. So again, if I went down 11 more units down to negative 20 or negative 1 comma negative 20 for my vertex, again, it's still going to go upward. So it's still going to touch the x axes and have, or x axis and have um, two x intercepts. So that's gone. But choice D, however, says I shift up 11 units. Now shifting up 11 units would mean that I go from, and I'll use green, I go from a negative nine on my y axis to a positive two, right? So I, my vertex will now be at negative one comma two, and then I go up from there. So by going up from there, I will never touch the x axis. And therefore choice D is correct because I will never have x intercepts.